Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Charles. This week we have our last story from Carl Sandberg's Rutabaga Stories for now. We will eventually come back to the last few sections. But today, I want to finish off this section of three stories about three ways the wind went winding with another sad story, I'm sorry to say. This one is much more introspectively sad. I do hope you enjoy it. This is The Wooden Indian and the Shaghorn Buffalo. One night, a milk-white moon was shining down on Main Street. The sidewalks and the stones, the walls and the windows all stood out, milk-white. And there was a thin blue mist, drifted and shifted like a woman's veil up and down Main Street, up to the moon and back again. Yes, all Main Street was a mist blue and a milk-white, mixed up and soft all over and all through. It was past midnight. The wooden Indian in front of the cigar store stepped down off his stand. The shaghorn buffalo in front of the haberdasher shop lifted his head and shook his whiskers, raised his hoofs out of his hoof tracks. Then, this is what happened. They moved straight toward each other. In the middle of Main Street they met. The wooden Indian jumped the straddle of the shaghorn buffalo, and the shaghorn buffalo put his head down and ran like a prairie wind straight west on Main Street. At the high hill over the big bend of the clear green river they stopped. They stood looking. Drifting and shifting like a woman's blue veil, the blue mist filled the valley, and the milk-white moon filled the valley. And the mist and the moon touched with a lingering, wistful kiss the clear green water of clear green river. So they stood looking, the wooden Indian with his copper face and wooden feathers, and the shaghorn buffalo with his big head and heavy shoulders slumping down close to the ground. And, after they had looked a long while, and each of them got an eye full of the high hill, The big bend in the moon mist on the river all blue and white and soft. After they had looked a long while they turned around, and the shaghorn buffalo put his head down and ran like a prairie wind down Main Street till he was exactly in front of the cigar store and the haberdasher shop. Then whisk, both of them, right back like they were before, standing still, taking whatever comes. This is the story, as it came from the night policeman of the village of Cream Puffs. He told the people the next day, I was sitting on the steps of the cigar store last night watching for burglars, and when I saw the wooden Indian step down and the shaghorn buffalo step out, and the two of them go down Main Street like the wind, I said to myself, Marvelous, tis marvelous, tis marvelous. And that is the short and wistful story of the Wooden Indian and the Shaghorn Buffalo. Again, it's the last in Carl Sandburg's three stories about three ways the wind went winding from his Rutabaga stories. And when next we join Sandburg and his Rutabaga stories, we'll read about four stories about dear, dear eyes and a few more. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always... Thank you so much for listening.